I just can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You're really going to tell me that? You're really going to sit there and tell me? Hi, friends. So I am back again. It's, it's soon, I know, but so much has happened since I posted my most recent video about John Cookian and like everything has just kind of like imploded. So I just want to kind of sit here and like talk about my reaction to his response video and talk about more of the allegations that have kind of come up. I just kind of, I don't know, I like watching these videos about him and I hope you guys like it too. So yeah. Oh, and before I forget, like and subscribe down below. Um, I don't know why you haven't already because this is clearly a very active and growing channel. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so here's a couple of things I noticed. So shortly after I released my video, my most recent one about John, I'm going to flip my hair a lot because I'm feeling real sassy. Shortly after I released that video, I released another video saying it was like Cookie and Cosmetics Exposed Part 2. So I was like, well, if you guys make a part two, I get to make a part two. So let's just like break down the video really quick. <laughs> so the first thing he talks about is kind of how honored he is to have his cosmetics sell out as fast as they did. He kind of says he didn't expect it. Here's here's my issue. <laughs> he talks about this for 10 seconds. And if you have watched any of his videos ever, you know that he's lying in this video. Like, you know he's just straight up lying to your face. He barely touches on the topic. You know this guy made a whole fucking video dedicated to getting a 100,000 subscriber button. You know that this guy should have made an entire video praising the success of Cookie and Cosmetics and selling out. You know that would have been a bigger point. You know he would have made more of a deal about it. He made zero deal. He talked about it for like 30 seconds and then was like, okay, moving on. Didn't even address. This whole video was to address the allegations against him, right? doesn't even address in this first part, literally addresses nothing about the fact that people are saying he fake sold out of his cosmetics, something he's accused numerous YouTubers of doing. Like Laura Lee, he's like coming for her brand, trying to ruin her life over this. And he literally did the same exact thing. Then he tries to sit there and say, well, I really built up a mailing list over the past year or so, six figure mailing list, blah, blah, fucking blah, like blah, blah, whatever. Didn't know people would be so interested. I didn't think people would really care about my, they didn't. Nobody cared about your brand because nobody bought your stuff because it was never for sale. You were, nobody was ever going to get this stuff. And it makes me so mad because I sit here. So he talks about all this, right? Talks about the fact that he had this six month. You're trying to tell me <laughs> Kim Kardashian West sold out of her stuff in like 45 minutes. Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, one of the most anticipated launches of the year, still didn't sell out for like 45 minutes. Kylie Cosmetics didn't sell out for at least 20, I think. I don't know. All of these major brands <laughs> have had major releases. Huda Beauty, her palette hasn't even, the Desert Dusk hasn't even sold out. Natasha Denona's Sunset palette took forever. All of these really prestigious, really reputable, really like you can trust these brands. All of those brands sold out in at least an hour. And you're telling me in this video with a straight face that Cookie and Kitchen Cosmetics, which is what it is formally, and it's not me making that up, formerly known as on the internet, like that's what people refer to it as, you're trying to tell me that that sold out in two seconds. What? 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 Are you kidding? Do you think we're idiots? Like, do you think we're stupid, John? Do you really, really think consumers are that dumb? And then he never addresses the issue. Sorry, I'm doing like guns. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I don't get this heated normally about things. So this is like, I'm actually angry. So because the lies, the lies. So then he addresses, he doesn't address the fact that people are accusing him of doing pre-orders for this January. He doesn't even touch on that. He just says you can order for January, mentions he's doing some giveaways, and the video goes on. <laughs> so the first rumor that he addresses, like the first actual rumor, because he doesn't address everything else, is the whole website 
situation. After this video went live, Patty Page actually got him on her live stream. I'll link that video down below. I think at like one hour and 20 minute mark, I think the phone call starts, but she got him on like a probably a 30 minute phone call where they talked about some of this stuff and he kind of tried to explain it more. Still didn't make sense. <laughs> but in the video, it really doesn't make any sense. I think again, he's doing his technique where he just tries to use big words. So in the video, he says that because the images weren't loading properly, they couldn't access the website. Therefore, the server had overloaded, but he didn't want people coming to a blank web page, so he changed it himself. That seems like a convenient story to make up two days later, as opposed to just saying that the day of. Yeah, that could that could have happened to another person, maybe. But I don't know why if that happened to you and your brand, you didn't just hop on Twitter and say, hey guys, we can't load the pictures. Just letting you guys know the site's going to be down. It's going to be delayed. I don't know why you had to change it to make it look like it was like overloaded. And every Oh my God, everything's going to sell out. And oh my God, look, it did. Even though nobody could access the website and it was already sold out. Like... It just is preposterous to me that that's like the excuse. It turned out later that he doesn't even have access. To, well, he kind of gets caught in a lie because he says, well, I changed it to server overloaded because blah, blah, blah. Then later they're talking about the ingredients, which we will get into talking about the ingredients issue. And he's like, well, I don't have access to my own website. And the boyfriend of Petty Page or her fiance was like, hold on, I thought you said you had access when you changed it to server overloaded. And he was like, well, no, I don't. I don't know anything about oh, services. I'm just speaking on my asshole because I'm bleh. So he kind of got caught in a lie in there. Um, we really, I don't think we're ever really going to know what happened with that. But at the end of the day, he kind of just picked the least problematic thing people were accusing him of and just talked about that for a minute. He did talk about the cookie and party launch, to his credit. He discussed it. He kind of said, this is what happened. Well, he didn't. He just said he had to cancel it. He didn't explain He didn't explain why the venue was saying he never had a contract, which was exposed by another drama channel. He didn't, I'll link her video down below too. He didn't say kind of why he started selling tickets without having a confirmed venue. Um, and he didn't say why he never made it clear what was going on. So all he really said was that everybody is getting a refund, which nobody has gotten one yet, but I, I think he will refund people because I think um, he knows that if he doesn't, it's going to be like, I think he's seeing more seriously. Like, I think he's seeing how serious people are now and I think he actually will do the refunds. But what I don't think he's going to do is send all of his subscribers who um, bought tickets makeup. <laughs> Again, though, this is like... In the grand scheme of issues that we have with you right now, kind of like the launch party had been pushed back. He's like addressing old issues. We were worried about the launch party like two weeks ago and you didn't say shit. So now that other bigger allegations are being thrown at you like charity fraud, suddenly you care about the party and you care about the people. Um, so that's kind of being settled, I guess. He then talks about people saying he copyrighted an image from a, another Instagram artist who she confirmed she got paid. But that's also not something I saw people talking about online. I don't think I saw anybody accusing him of stealing the pictures from this artist. So again, if you're noticing the trend and noticing the point I'm trying to make, he picked the least problematic thing people are angry about, and that's what he talked about. So then he went on to talk about the fact that if he, first of all, this is hysterical. He, he shows the picture. So there's this, been this picture floating around. Check his Twitter. You'll see it. Of these people finding the same pigments that he is selling in a bundle. It's like a three bundle on Alibaba.com or AliExpress.com, one of the three or whatever. So people found a picture of the same colors in different packaging that are wholesaling for like 20 cents or whatever. So people were saying that that was the formula. First of all, his first point was he goes... Obviously, I didn't even create a red toned shade. Mine is obviously a burgundy color. It's not red. Are you, that's really the best excuse you have. Your color is slightly different, which we can't even tell because nobody's gotten the products yet. So we literally can't even tell if it's slightly different. You're just telling us it's slightly different. Like, okay, sure. We'll just take your word for it because you're so reliable. Anyway, <laughs> and then he talks about, well, if I were going to do that, why would I order, take the time 
to order all of these super expensive clamshell, which look like awful. I can't believe he's shipping them out in these clamshell cases. I think they look so bad, but it's not my business. So whatever. Um, he goes, I can't even believe like, why would I ship it out in these clamshell cases when it came in this black packaging? I truly believe that he is private labeling. I don't know if that's the exact thing he got, but like, I don't really have a lot of doubts that this is all private labeled. Like I'm pretty confident in that assumption. Again, allegedly because I my mom texted me this morning and was like you're gonna get sued um I'm not but he doesn't care nobody's watching this really being private labeled we also found that the price for producing like 500 of his little clamshells is literally like 62 cents for 500 so they're not expensive they're not luxury they're not amazing I know he's talking a lot about like his little like lipsticks are being shipped in like a packaging that Egyptian artifacts are shipped like what he's like it wasn't necessary but like why not like he's trying to seem like he's so much bougier than he is and he's not he's not a bougie person he's cheap because he already doesn't have the money to be doing this shit i digress the final thing he talks about in the video jeffrey stars dirty money shade i'm just gonna say it <laughs> I'm going to say kind of what everyone's thinking because I know that nobody believes this one. You're telling me that the person you've been obsessed with for two years now, because I, I've genuinely been following John Cookie and since like 15,000 subscribers and he's been making videos about Jeffrey forever, like forever. First videos, it's kind of how he established his channel. And you're going to sit there and tell me, that you didn't know the man you've been stalking for two years had an identical green shade that was also called Dirty Money. You're going to tell me you got that from Nicki Minaj. You're going to tell me that was an original thought that you had. When there are screen grabs of you going through the website and physically you, it's on the same page that you're directly looking at. This is the thing. If he was being a shady bitch about it, like, I would just have so much respect if he came on. He was like, I'm private labeling. You're pre-ordering. I did it because I didn't have the money. And I copied Jeffree Star for attention. I would be like, thank you. Thank you for just being on. I'm not going to buy your shit, but I never was anyway. At least now you have my respect because you're telling the truth. You're being a credible person. So in conclusion with the video, he did not talk about being private labeled for his pigments, which has been a huge accusation, like his lip pigments. He kind of addressed the eyeshadows, but didn't give any receipts. The only receipt he gave was a text message asking his supplier if they had anything to do with the brand. My question was, why would it matter if they had anything to do with the brand if you weren't getting it private labeled and it's not a possibility that you got from those people? Like if it was your formula, why would it even matter? if they were also being produced at that factory. If your formula is so original and fantastic and amazing, like why would that matter to you? The other issues that I have is that all he did was address the small stuff. He didn't address the charity fraud that's been accused of him, like a ton. He didn't address the fact that people are saying everything sold out, which is one of the biggest issues we have. He didn't address the fact that everyone's pre-ordering he only addressed the little things. And then when you accuse him of not addressing anything, he's going to put his hands in the air and he's going to say, well, look at this video. I clearly addressed everything I knew about. <sighs> it's just a manipulation tactic to make his subscribers think in case they happen to be on Twitter. They happen to see the comments that we're all posting because he's deleting them from every other form of social media. He's trying to cover his ass. And I think that's the frustrating part is that instead of just being like, I, I messed up. I didn't have the funds to do this. I was embarrassed to tell you guys. I'm sorry. I have to do that. A lot of brands who are new, especially, do pre-orders. That's not something to be ashamed of. Like, I don't know why he has to act like he's better than that. It just, the whole dishonesty of it really blows my mind. Then he gets on a live stream with Petty Page, who I love. She, her little intro is like, what's been a time not long ago? I was all... I won't take it back because I did the shit. I was a ho. Makes me like booty pop every time. <laughs> I love her intro. Petty Page is my homegirl. I 
Love her. Um, but she did a fantastic live stream with him. And she talked to him about the charity that he wants to start. Um, he kind of said, from what I gathered, my interpretation, allegedly, he basically said his charity was just him donating to wherever he felt needed the donations at the moment. He could not specify the amount that the cosmetics of the cosmetics were being given. Personally, I don't really understand why he's doing the whole charity thing again. Because that worked out horribly for him during the Amrezi scandal. Like, that was, like, bad. That blew up really 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 bad in his face so I'm not really sure why he thinks charity is like the way to go but okay so he kind of explained the charity isn't really a charity I don't know um and he just kind of like walked around that one she asked him about his publication publication he said he's just trying to give young artists a chance to break their way into the industry and that he's giving people their big breaks by working with a prestigious and really credible brand like Kuckian. He's really giving them, like, what? He's not even paying these poor people that are going to have to deal with his shit. So he's trying to make a publication, basically, where, like, makeup, and I already talked about this, and, like, go on Instagram. Like, nobody wants a printed publication of makeup. Like, nobody cares. So in the live stream, again, they kind of addressed everything. The biggest thing that he addressed was the ingredients list. You'll remember... In the Laura Lee scandal, John Cookian talks a lot about her formula and says, well, it has to be in all the pigments, blah, 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 all this stuff to confuse you and make you think she's a shady person when really she just had her formula. I don't really think it was shady, um, making scandals out of nothing so he can be relevant. So the biggest problem people had was that if you can't see the formula sheet, you don't know if it's cruelty free. I am personally not cruelty free, but I know a lot of people are. And I know that's a really serious thing for a lot of people. And it's a valid concern. Um, his response to how do we know it's cruelty free is because it says it on the website. So we should just trust you. He also went on to say that um, you can't sell non-cruelty free makeup in the UK. He um, is having all these issues getting everything. He's not even selling it in the UK, so that's not even a valid point. He's not selling it there yet. He's only selling it in the US and Canada. So it's not even a valid like point at all. Um, so he kind of talks about that and then he says he's put it on Instagram and Twitter. I personally looked at the ingredients list and I I didn't look it up myself because I know, I'm not going to lie, I am not a science girl. I don't know shit about math or science. I don't know anything. But... <laughs> I know people on Twitter who do know things about that and they left comments and they were all like, this is like not a good formula that you should be putting on your face. This is like really heavy metals in it um, that are bad for you was one thing I read. Oils, stuff like that. So the formulas are allegedly, again, allegedly, because I couldn't, I couldn't confirm what they were saying to be true. But from what I was reading, people were saying that these formulas are really bad for you. And he still has not put them on the website. He said he is trying to, but his guy is just not doing it. I don't know. I think he's scared to really put it out there because I think people are going to find a similar formula to another, like, brand. And it's kind of going to prove he's been private labeling, but that's just my conspiracy. Don't take my word for it. God bless Peter Mon. He is too good for the internet, I swear to God. John Cookie basically accused Peter Mon of cheating on his husband and sexting him. I know. <laughs> You can't make this shit up. Sexting him, being obsessed with him. He's mad that he denied him. So now he's going on this tirade against John. No, he's going on a tirade on you against YouTube because you fucked up. He's doing his job. He reports on launches. You launched a cosmetic brand and it was a shit show. What he's... There's no reason to even remotely believe that this is like a revenge thing. Peter Mon could have done this, have been doing this for like a year if it was all about revenge. He literally did it now and at risk of his own career because last time we made a video about John Cookian, if you don't know the whole drama with that, last time we made about a video about John Cookian, he lost like 10,000 subscribers and he's a small channel, so that's a lot. He lost like 10,000 subscribers. People were hating on him. He almost left YouTube because everyone was being so vicious to him because John kind of sent everyone against him. 
And it was really bad for him. He made that video knowing that he might get a really negative response and he made it anyway because he has integrity and dignity, 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 integrity and dignity. And he was like, this is the right thing to do. People need to be informed and I'm going to make this video. And John Cookian's trying to make it out like he's some hot shit that Peter Mon wants to like, it's so ridiculous to me. Like the allegations being made against another YouTuber just because they're talking badly about your cosmetics is not a professional thing for a CEO, um, magazine editor, charity organization, head CEO of a charity. Like you have to know that now you're a business and I'm not going to just view you as like a drama channel anymore. When Z Palette went crazy and started commenting on everyone's Instagram posts saying really horrible things, they were treated as a business. I know that woman started out as the head, started out as a stay-at-home mom who just like liked to do this makeup thing. She is now a business and she's held accountable for her actions for being professional. You <laughs> posting a tweet with the word sexting in it as the CEO of a business, it's disgusting. Like <laughs> it's so ugly. It's just so gross. I am trying to think back to a brand that this early on has had this many problems and I cannot think of one. John Cookie is just like making these shitty cosmetics and hoping that like nobody will catch him on it. Like the whole thing is ridiculous. I'm over it. This is probably the last video I'm going to make on this. But if you guys like my commentary on things, like let me know because I'll make more of these videos. I don't mind making these videos. I think they're fun. This in particular is something that I've been following so I know a lot about. So I like talking about it. But if you guys want me to talk about anything else, I usually keep up on drama. I'm pretty like drama-y. I really like doing that video of like the getting ready and like talking shit. Like if you guys like that video, let me know because I, I always talk to myself, not in a weird way, but I always like low-key talk to myself when I do my makeup. So if I can talk to you guys instead, I'll feel a little less crazy. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Um, I gained like I'm so excited. I gained five subscribers. I'm not even being sarcastic. I gained five subscribers today and I've been like emotional all day. Like I'm so excited to have gained five subscribers. This is like so pathetic, but I'm so excited. So if you just want to make a girl's day, just subscribe to my channel because I like, it makes my heart happy when people subscribe to my channel. Like it genuinely makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much for all the support my last video got. And I hope this one gets some support too, because I think people need to, oh, people need to know. I hope you guys really like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye. That's not my sign off. I'm not doing this as a sign off. Bye.